Now to Storm Track Weather, here's your forecast from ABC 7's Will Heron. Well, first, let's take a look into downtown El Paso as the sun slowly starts to make its way up. Wake up, everybody. If I got to be awake, you got to be awake. But thinking about being awake, let's take a look at these rain chances we're going to be seeing here for the next few days, definitely for this week. Today, looking really good. So get things done now because tomorrow it's all going to change for you guys. 10% chance of rain on Sunday, but heavy winds will be a big factor. Monday, looking at 20%, then jumping up to 60 there on Tuesday, still staying wet on Wednesday. Now let's jump over here and take a look at the map where this stuff is all coming from. You see it's over there from the west coast, making its way down here to the El Paso borderland area. Sunday, 2 p.m., you're already getting hit there in Silver City. It's gone through Albuquerque. Now it's going to make its way down here to the El Paso area Monday-ish into Tuesday. Kind of fast forward a little too far on you guys, but you'll be seeing it Monday as well. Here Tuesday, 10 a.m., all through our area is going to be getting saturated with plenty of that wet stuff. Silver City, you're seeing it as well. Still there in Albuquerque. So if you're going to be out and about on these days, definitely be careful. The roads will be very slick. Take your time. Please slow down. Tuesday, 3 p.m. You see Cruces is getting a nice little chunk of it as well. It's going to make its way. Still going into the easterly direction. This is Wednesday, 6 a.m. Still getting in Silver City. Alamogoro is going to begin a little bit of it. And some of it will be dissipating in the El Paso area as well. Let's talk about these rain totals and the amounts we're going to be seeing here in our area. Tuesday, 6 a.m. is already starting to build all throughout the borderland areas. Still seeing some there in Sierra Blanca. Van Horn, not yet, but as we start to move forward, Tuesday, 6 p.m., you already got over a tenth of an inch there in El Paso, tenth in Columbus, almost twentieth of an inch in Las Cruces. They'll be seeing a lot of rain as well. Torneo, you guys will be picking up for you guys. Moving on forward here to Wednesday, then into Thursday. Now we're right at, you know, 0.15th of an inch, almost a 20th there in Torneo. So you can see Sierra Blanca still getting it. Even Van Horn will be racking up some of that rain going into Thursday and then kind of pushing your way out throughout the rest of the week. Now let's talk about the temperatures. You guys see that rain's on its way. We're going to be dealing with wind as well during those times. Today, though, right around noon, getting your grub on the grill, 59 degrees is what you're going to be seeing. Again, today is going to be a beautiful day. Enjoy today. Get your things done today because that will change drastically. Now, let's jump on over and take a look at your highs in the El Paso area here in your borderland. You're going to be <laughs> at 70 degrees there in San Elizario. Do I have to remind you it's January? 70 degrees out there. They're going to be in shorts wearing sunglasses, which is what I'll probably be doing. 69 there in Canyon Teal. Knuch, you're looking good. Vinton as well. Again, great day in the borderland today. Get it done because it's going to change on y'all. Doniana looking good as well in your high 60s all throughout your county. So again, enjoy today. Get all the things you need to get done because it's going to it's going to happen. Go jump out there. Take the doggo for a walk. Oh, I think you should. Still no sun. Well, slowly coming up. You guys saw that 35 degrees about right now. And at 8 a.m., you're looking at about 40. You have plenty of sunshine, though, so you guys can get your exercise on. Tell me all about it. That's all the time that I have. When we come back, more news, more weather. Stay with us. Chevy Silverado factory lifted trucks. Where will they take you?